Natalie has now released her story time of what had occurred and this is now getting really confusing and interesting at the same time. Hey guys, it's Murad Muradi. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Now a lot of you guys wanted me to review this side of the story. I was going to do it anyhow only because if you review one side, it's only just and fair that you, that you have to review the other side as well because it's good to play a neutral position. Now before I dive deep into this particular video and really try and analyze it because there is a lot to talk about, please do not send hate to anybody involved in this video. Do not send hate to Renee. Do not send hate to Natalie. This is only a video to report on situations that have occurred and that is it. This is not a, this is not a channel to help promote any form of hatred because that is not what I do at all. Or please do subscribe click that button for daily consistent content I would massively appreciate it subscribe 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 and follow me on my Instagram at Murad underscore Murali if you guys wish to now what I want to say is if you want to defend your character and your name you, you need to do it right and for you to be putting up a stream of your own video filming a map like uh, too much is going on Yeah. It's annoying, it's unprofessional, it's, un like it's uncandid, like we don't need that. We need proper structure, proper concise information. I feel like she waffles a lot as well, especially in the part-time video. I feel like the part-time video which I'm showing in the background was better, but the first part, you know, talking about Chantel and why you guys weren't, you know, in, in a good place to begin with. Saturday night I went out with Chantel. On a Saturday night I went out with Chantel, yeah. We went to Shisha and then we went to Pier 1 and then we came back. I understand you want to add some background knowledge, but we don't need a whole video on it. Like, we don't want to hear about Chantel. Like, Chantel is like, who, who is that? We, we don't want to know about Chantel. We want to know about your side of the story, defending yourself about what Renee has said. Not about Chantel. Like, too much was going on. You were talking way too much in the first part. I was losing interest. You need to be concise. And perhaps, obviously, Renee has done far more story times than you. She has the experience with, you know, knowing how to speak in a I want to say, I don't want to say eloquent manner, but in a very, you know, quick and effortless manner so she can grab her audience and, and keep them engaged throughout. And I feel like Natalie failed to do so, which is an annoying because people can easily lose interest as well. So next time, I guess, if this occurs for you, Natalie, please just be a bit more concise with your information. I'm sure you could have shortened your videos as well. And I feel like that it was just, it's just tiring to review st like story time videos. So if after this, if this saga continues, I probably won't review it only because these story time videos are like an hour long. And really and truly, they should only just be 20, 20 minutes long, 25 minutes. I don't know why they're so long because you, I'm sure you can fit that information in a concise 20-25 minute video. It's very hard for a lot of people to watch for a very long time. So obviously I thought I'd review it for you guys so you guys would have to. Then you guys can always comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are if you are on a side or if you are neutral like me because it's always good to be neutral at the same time as well because I'm not here to promote any form of hatred and that's something that I want to reiterate as a disclaimer because I feel like a lot of hate can easily be thrown around. What Natalie has vehemently expressing is that apparently um, Renee has said that Natalie has borrowed money off her countless times or here and there and Natalie is completely denying it. No bitch, you never gave me no peas. Like And it's showing receipts. It's showing receipts that obviously Renee has asked for money and she's given it or you know money for you know got to be glue and so forth all these type of stuff which helps to you know induce a kind of point that obviously Renee was lying about the fact that Natalie was borrowing money um, and then you know Natalie's obviously showing otherwise. Now I understand that you're posting these receipts and I'm kind of glad that you are in relation to who's lying and who's not but I feel like that isn't the main premise of this particular video. The main premise of your video was to show if you did or did not stab and what other points. And I'm glad you kind of got to that at the end, but like everything else about Chantel and all these like ill-fitted like manners to provide you form evidence uh, were quite weak, I personally felt. Um, however, I feel like there is something to Natalie's story. I don't feel like Renee was saying the 100% truth, but I also don't feel like Natalie was saying the 100% truth either. Moral of the story is, I think they're both, you know, have lies in their stories and they both have truth in their stories. And also a combination of miscommunication and their own faults, i.e. Renee saying she doesn't listen and so forth, and Natalie as well fawning XYZ and attacking somebody on the face. Like, you've, even if you didn't stab somebody, you're not suddenly innocent because you have obviously scratched somebody all over the face and you are apologizing for that. But here where it gets really interesting, um, 
Obviously, Renee had said to Hero that don't go near her anymore, she has an STD and so forth, gonorrhea, and Hero said that that isn't true, and in terms of when she had a conversation with Natalie afterwards and found out, you know, that she was clean. Now, she's all posting all these messages, she's posting everything. Um, I don't know why she posted um, the screenshot of, you know, them meeting up to claim the phone back, like, like we know that happened because Renee showed a video. So again, this is what I mean, like this, this, we didn't need this conversation to confirm that you are going to meet her up to get your phone back because we already have seen that. So you're only reiterating what she has said, so therefore you're wasting time in your videos. So I mean, keep it concise, cut short and clean. But um, what Natalie now claims is that on that day we met up, it wasn't only for her to delete the numbers, their numbers, she cleared all my course history, cleared conversations between me and her, cleared a conversation that she would have sent her man from my phone. She then went on Snapchat and made sure she had saved all of our conversations. Luckily I wasn't dumb, I made sure I backed up everything in my map book. But she's making it out to be as if there's so much that Renee has deleted that she hasn't saved. But if you've saved all of that, why aren't you showing it all? Because you've, the stuff that you've showed in terms of like STDs lying, like that's really the only evidence and the and the bail um, notice are the only two forms that you've showed. If Renee was deleting so much and you've saved all of that, where is that? That was just my you know question of thought. I just found that very interesting. Um, but this is lying about the STD. She's been caught here lying. Renee saying we've got the receipts just to show that. And uh, what she what he says is I'll call you back. But no, basically that night you guys got into a fight and you was hitting her first. Then she got angry, started fighting. As you guys were fighting, everything was getting trashed and the two cups of glass that was on the table smashed. Then she stepped on the glass, but you didn't stab her. So Hero here is confirming that she didn't get stabbed. So what is the truth? Um, she lied about SED and apparently she's lying about being stabbed. This is a story that she's saying that she fell over glass. Apparently there was glass there, but then Renee's friend was saying, why aren't there pictures of the glass? Why wasn't there spillage? And at this point in time, everybody's saying their own form of a story. You don't know what's going on. You truly find it very confusing because there are good points made from every single side. This is what I mean, but I feel like every side has their faults and their truths. Um, and then she goes to say, first of all, let's all question when she said she dropped the case because of her two friends. Impossible. In a serious offence like this, only CPS can drop the case. And in this case, they more likely did because there was not enough evidence to even take it to court in the first place. To which corroborates to what I said. There was no blood on the knife. She then also says, Natalie, that her solicitor has confirmed that there was no blood on the knife. So perhaps you could have asked your solicitor to put that in writing for you to just show it. I, I mean, I, I personally don't know. That probably would have helped massively. But I said that that's what her... Solicitor was saying, she also goes to say, also, why didn't she show the alleged medical report that states it was a stab wound and not glass? She showed every receipt but this one. And this, that is a good point. Natalie's making a good point here. You know, why is every report shown but, you know, the stab wound hospital reports? You know, which, which you can believe, I'm sure, which you are given if you are stabbed or hurt or you're in hospital, there are medical reports to confirm, you know, the occurrence of what had occurred, the occurrence of that particular situation. So, you know, I feel like that is an interesting point. She goes to say deep for a minute, I allegedly tried to kill somebody. The police caught me with a weapon in hand, so they basically caught me in the act, but I'm now walking freely because the alleged victim dropped the charges. So I'm representing a potential threat for the society, but the court is letting me walk freely because the alleged victim doesn't want to involve her friends. Yes, when I spoke to Double, I, were, I was acting tough. What's wrong with not wanting someone to see the vulnerable side of me? That is called putting up a front. These switched personalities, bipolar ac ac accusations need to stop now. Also, yes, I did apologize. Apologize for fighting with a friend, nothing else, because that's all I could remember. At the time I apologised, I was not aware of the stabbing allegations, hence why once my phone started blowing up, I took my apologies back and contacted her to see what this was all about. And then she also posted another receipt saying I was no longer on the bail and case was dropped due to her lying and no evidence. Now granted I wouldn't regard Natalie innocent because you have physically assaulted and attacked somebody, i.e. on the face, there was marks everywhere, um, but now she's showing all the receipts to show that she didn't stab Renee, and that she didn't at all, and if she did, this case would have been far more serious and she probably would have been in jail, or for a long time, or these witnesses wouldn't have been, you know, or she wouldn't have dropped the charges, or she wouldn't have been able to even drop the charges because there were witnesses present, and you can't have that option to say I don't want these involved because their own, you know, prison kind of like, um, this is what she says, but in one of in one of, in one of Natalie's own receipts, um, I think it's I don't know which one it is either Hero Double or Terence. One of these guys was like, um, "Hey, you okay? You had to keep distance because police was involved, and you know I've just come out of jail." So Natalie's saying that um, just this is thought that I have. Natalie's saying that why would the charges be dropped for Renee making the excuse of I don't want these boys or these guys to be involved with the jail again because, you know, their past history. And Natalie's saying that's a, a weird, silly excuse to use. 
But in Natalie's own receipt, this particular person says, to keep distance because police was involved and you know I just came out of jail. So that particular sentence this person insinuates that he's had bad history with the police in jail and he doesn't want any more of that. Which kind of corroborates with Renee which was saying in terms of um, I didn't want them to be involved, therefore I dropped the charges because they've already had past, hist bad, past bad history. But then now Natalie's saying that that excuse is silly, but then her own receipt of this message kind of helps to admit that story and narrative of this person has bad history with police in jail, I don't want any involvement in it, therefore perhaps charges could be dropped to help them. Do you, do you see what I mean? Like I have these weird thoughts. I don't think Renee's innocent, I don't think, I don't think um, Natalie's innocent. I think they both can be wrong. It, it's, it's possible. Oftentimes when people are putting out one story, A, and a story B, we lean to find out what is the truth. Either it's A truth or it's B truth, but more so, more time, both of them could be truthful and both of them could be liars. Both the situations could have potholes and both of them could be, have complete truths. And that in itself can cause confusion because we're so eager to find out which one is the truth. So more of the story from this particular video is, um, Natalie, I feel like you need to be more articulate in your videos, be more concise with your information. I feel like she did come with some receipts and some tea here and there, which what, you know, we needed. But at the same time, she was waffling a lot and we don't care for Chantel. The stabbing stuff, I can see it as, you know, somebody painting a narrative on you because I feel like with stabbing, it, police would take it far more seriously than it apparently has been. But at the same time, we, we still need more proof in terms of like glasses and receipts and what's going on and you know, this, the cracked glasses, have you got any pictures or anything like to just give, like I don't understand, like nothing of that is there of, of, of nature. But um, you know, she obviously had to make this video because defamation of character is going on and you have to defend yourself. So you can't blame somebody for making a video, 110%. I just think they're both in the wrong and they're both in the right. They both have their own truths and they're both telling lies as well. And obviously, you know, to be t t telling a lie about STDs and so forth, which that conversation shows the otherwise, and it can be plausible that, you know, perhaps she asked for her phone to delete all the messages and all the history. But then Natalie herself confirmed that she had saved everything that Renee attempted to delete. So if you had saved everything that Renee attempted to, to delete and had deleted, why aren't you showing that? Or perhaps whatever you're showing is what she tried to delete and it simply isn't enough. Because the way she said it as if I'm not dumb, I saved my MacBook, it came across as if I have so much that she tried to delete, but like, where is it? It's not being really shown as much. But then she has a whole, then she went on to show stuff about how uh, there's like a prostitution going on between Renee and a guy and so forth and he's exchanging sexual advances for money now I've made it very clear in so many past videos I don't shame people who do sex work I don't shame sex work as, perf as long as it's perfectly legal um, you are safe and you know it's totally fine like that and stuff I don't really care for but at the same time it's like why would you what does it have to do with the situation stick and be concise to the situation be direct this has nothing to do with it but at the same time could you say it's you know, karma, because obviously Renee has exposed stuff about other people unwarrantedly, and that's happening to her. But at the same time, I feel like this has been new to sex shame. And again, I've reiterated it for anybody who's been pointing that narrative, oh, this person's been having sex with this and people, oh, this person's been doing this for money. I have never endorsed sex shaming on this channel, and I won't do it. So that particular point, I feel like it just was unwarranted. It wasn't really needed. Um, but I, um, I'm quite confused situation. Let me know which side you prefer. If you've watched both story time videos, which one do you prefer? It's the Renee's or Natalie's about this entire situation because it really is confusing and I'm done with it. Um, after this video, I won't be doing it again. The only reason I thought I do this video is because you have to be just and fair. If you've reviewed one side vehemently, you have to read the other side. It's just common knowledge. Um, I feel like there are some receipts in her story and I feel like to some extent she is saying the truth. I don't feel like she is com completely as mentally AWOL as you know as Renee has painted it out to be but at the same time I feel like Renee is also saying the truth because she also had some receipts so you know it's a bit of just a combination out here um yeah the bail note was I feel like was a very interesting receipt because you know that shows that she's no longer on bail anymore and that would have ha wouldn't have happened if it wasn't a serious case so perhaps she wasn't stabbed as far as I'm concerned as long as we don't have any cameras in that damn room we will never know so many different stories people are really now split now once this video came out people are split the amount of dms I got from so many people saying do the video do the video do the video do the video the comments on youtube everybody really wants me to do it hence why I'm doing this video right now because it's such in high demand as well so I thought I would take the time to do it properly do let me know if you think I've, if I've missed any information out as well please comment down that below if there's more to it for either Renee's side or Nathie's side do do let me know if you guys are on a side, which side are you on, I'm Renee or Natalie, or if you're neutral, um, please do subscribe to my channel, click that button for daily consistent content, I would massively appreciate it, and do follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Morali as well, 
comment, share, like, subscribe. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with some stuff that I'm saying, or if there's more to the information, or if you are also done with this stuff like me, because I feel like I'm just over it. And I'll most definitely catch you guys soon.